and you've got to be honest here. On, I'm putting you on the spot. Yeah. Who isn't nice? You know, when the cameras stop rolling, who hasn't been nice to you? Um, Kevin Spacey. Really? Yeah, he was horrible. Um, just very arrogant. I didn't like him at all. We've kind of we've kind of adopted you, or have you adopted us, Mr. Kevin Spacey? Well, after <laughs> eleven years of calling this my home, I yeah. think uh, I think that's true. You have you have been here a lot. I mean, will you will you end up moving to America, or will you always be? I think I'll always be at both worlds. Yeah. I think so. We're not going to let you go. Very, you? very occasionally you'll get somebody who's not great. Yeah. Kevin Spacey was horrible. Oh, yeah? Oh, horrible. Oh. I mean, really, really beyond horrible. Mm -hmm. That was before all the allegations. He was horrible to the person that was making him up, okay. the person that was bringing him a cup of tea. Also, though, it has to be said, you are now with somebody who knows you and has known you for ages. Finally. I know. <laughs> and, but, Instead of the strangest. <laughs> but No, but somebody that's known you for a long, long, long time that you're very comfortable mm. with, very comfortable with you. And I think she's enabled you to be the man you are now. This is what's happened in a way, but I also think that I wouldn't have been able to be in this relationship if I wasn't psychologically ready. Okay. And I think that a lot of us look to the idea of another person to be what makes us all right with ourselves. I continually remind myself that it's not my wife's job to make me feel good about myself, it's not her job to look after me. But when she does do those things, it's a bloody relief. <laughs> yes, and it's lovely, and it's really good. And you talked yeah. about being a dad, and, oh, it, yeah. and it is lovely. Are you going to have some more? Oh, yeah, I really God, like loads, it. Have loads. I like the actual birth <laughs> bit. It's brilliant and surprising and amazing. For you, for you. <laughs> I would like to think a little tiny bit of respect there, maybe. Mm -hmm. Although, <laughs> I, this happened on the Graham Norton show. That, now, it was back in 2007, but have a look. I'm glad you did it, actually, because during that... You're wearing suspenders. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, I've been enough more than I can chew. I'm out of debt. <laughs> yes, I have been in other films, but it doesn't seem so important now that I know Lorraine <laughs> Kelly's a slut. <laughs> Now, look, that's uncomfortable to watch that now. It absolutely is. Um, obviously, for the record, I was not reading uh, suspenders at all. Um, everybody was laughing. Yeah. I was laughing. How did you feel, though, in that moment? I, I must admit, well, it, it's difficult. Now, looking back on it now, I probably would have said something. Mm. But it's an entertainment show. It's late night. That was yeah. his shtick. Yeah. It was. That's what he was not just doing, but actively encouraged mm. to do. And that's, why and that's the scandal, isn't that it? That whole thing about he was hiding in plain sight. He wasn't really pretending no, that he, he was wasn't anything at other all. than... that was him. But the culture was such at that point that that was OK. And yes. it was laughing. And it's not that long ago. Mm. It's not, not that really. long ago. But, but it's it's interesting, I just want to say one thing. Yeah. Isn't it interesting that you started a minute ago by saying, by the way, I wasn't wearing suspenders. So still, yes. as a woman, you're yes. feeling that you've got to justify yourself. Yeah. Absolutely, you're 100% right. <laughs>